Papa, is that you? We have such sights to show you. Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> Welcome to Five Points of Articulation, where I review action figures and then articulate five points to help you decide if you want to add that figure to your collection. The five points I discuss are packaging, presentation, posability, playability, and price. I'm Jason, and if you enjoy my content, please like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube rigmarole. Today we're taking a look at the Batman Who Laughs from the all-new McFarlane Toys Walmart exclusive Super Powers Collection. Starting off with the packaging, and it's that Super Powers retro card I love so much, but I have to admit it's pretty weird seeing the Batman Who Laughs on it. We've got his logo up here, and some cool creepy artwork of him on the side. Nice retro style back, here are all the available figures so far, and for those who aren't familiar with the Batman Who Laughs, you can pause here. Oh, and here's the barcode for those who want it. This release definitely pushes the series more into McFarlane territory, and it shows just how different DC is today than they were in the simpler time of the 1980s. Changing times notwithstanding, for packaging, I'm giving the Batman Who Laughs one whole point. Moving on to presentation and the tips of his ears, the Batman Who Laughs stands at just under 5 inches. Half Batman, half Joker, and half Cenobite by the looks of it. Seriously, how does he see out of that thing? This particular iteration of the Dark Knight has a more strappy leather look, some nice detailing of paint on there considering the scale, some more tampered on buckles on the cuffs, and I really like how his skin is a different shade of white than his teeth. Flipping him around in the coattail piece kind of reminds me of the original Superpowers Joker, and by the looks of it, he's wearing Velcro shoes. But who cares what kind of shoes he wears when he at least does have peg holes. That way, he can use figure stands which come in very handy when trying to pose him. The Batman Who Laughs is a newer character, but he's already made a big splash. To my counting, this is the fourth figure of him, not counting reissues, with another one already on the way. Considering the scale and the nature of this line, I think McFarlane's done a great job of adapting him to it, and for presentation, I'm giving the Batman Who Laughs one whole point. Moving on to posability, and this is pretty much standard for the rest of the line. His head's on a disc swivel. Mind you don't poke yourself. Swivel shoulders. Swivel hips. They can kick forward this far. And single jointed hinge knees. Is it a lot of articulation? No, but that's just standard for this line. Even though he's barely posable. For posability, I'm giving the Batman Who Laughs one whole point. Moving on to playability, and the Batman Who Laughs comes with free nightmares. And hey, can you really put a price on those? But playability is more than just accessories or the lack thereof. It's also about how well your figure plays with others. Since this is the Batman Who Laughs, I figured we'd start there. Here's the original Super Powers version. Here's the Toy Biz Keaton version. Clearly the seeds of Leather Daddy Batman were planted here. Here's the Kenner Keaton version. And here's the new McFarlane Super Powers version. Jockeying over to some Jokers, and here's the original Super Powers. Here's the Toy Biz Jack Nicholson version, which looks nothing like Jack Nicholson. And here's the Kenner Jack Nicholson version that does look like Jack Nicholson, but also really loves hot pink. For just a few more, here's Batman the Animated Series. I brought him out because the mouths reminded me of each other. And Joker from the new Batman Adventures. For some other heroes, and here we have the original Super Powers version of Superman. The McFarlane Super Powers version of Superman. OG Flash. McFarlane Flash. Hal Jordan Green Lantern. John Stewart Green Lantern. And then here we have the original versions of Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Robin the Boy Wonder, and Martian Manhunter. For a few smaller scaled heroes, and here we have the Spin Master version of Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and the Flash. And then for some other villains, and here we have the Super Powers Penguin, the Toy Biz Two-Face, Lex Luthor, and Mr. Freeze. For a McFarlane villain comparison, and here we have Darkseid. For a Batman Who Laughs comparison, and here he is with the Infected version from DC Multiverse. And then for an obvious comparison, here he is with Pinhead. This is one of the original NECA versions. For a relative scale comparison, here's the Batman Who Laughs with Pizza Spidey and the Spectacular Spider-Man. And as always, here he is with Stealth Iron Man. A dagger or something would have been appreciated, but that lack of accessories does seem to be a hallmark of this series. And even if I'm admittedly not that crazy about this character, I am pretty happy to see this series grow. For playability, I'm giving the Batman Who Laughs one whole point. This leaves us with nothing left to discuss but the price. Like the rest of the series, the Batman Who Laughs is a Walmart exclusive and retails for $9.99. For a more thorough breakdown about how I feel about these prices and what they're actually worth, you can check out my verses on The Flash. And while I do agree with you that this whole line is nothing but a nostalgia-baiting cash grab, $10 isn't too much for that superpower serotonin release. For price, I'll give the Batman Who Laughs one whole point for a grand total of 5 out of 5. For more superpowers, click here. Or for more Batman Who Laughs, click here. What do you think of Batman Who Laughs and do you think he belongs in this line? Sound off in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back again real soon, but until then, play nice and have fun.